In this example, we want to use the disk method to find the volume of the solid formed by revolving the bounded region about the line x equals to 2. So our region is going to be defined by y equals to 2x squared, okay, which is the parabola that you see here. y equals 0, which is the x-axis, okay, and x equals to 2. Okay, and x is going to be greater than or equal to 0, so that's going to put us in the first quadrant. Okay. All right, so that's the region that you see here. Okay. All right, so since we're doing the disk method, okay, our representative piece, remember, has to be perpendicular to the axis of revolution. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and draw that inside here, okay, inside our region. So this is going to be dy. Okay. All right. So the balance for our integral, okay, so this represented piece is going to go from 0, from y equals 0, up to, okay, uh, when x is 2, okay, right, when x is 2, then we're going to get y equals to 8, okay, so that's up here. So again, that's determined by just plugging 2 into our function okay, of y equals to 2x squared. So we get y equals to 8. So again, our bounds are going to go from 0 to 2. So now we have to figure out, we need to calculate what is, we need to figure out what is r of y. Okay, remember, r of y is the, remember, r of y is the distance. Okay, it's always the, the it's always measured from the x-axis. I'm sorry, from the uh, coordinate axis. Okay, so... In this case, our axis is vertical. Okay, so let's. Um, so what we need to do is. Okay, so since we have. Okay. All right. So since we have, we know the distance. Okay. Let me draw this in here. So we know the distance from here to here. Okay, to the. To this vertical axis is two. Okay. All right, and we also know, okay, the distance, okay, from here to our function, okay, is going to be, all right, so this is going to be x, okay, we're going to call this x for now, okay, so that is the, right, that is going to be the directed distance from the y-axis to the point on the graph, okay, so, so to get r of y, okay, So r of y is just going to be equal to, okay, 2 minus x, okay. But remember, our integral has to be in terms of y, okay. So we're going to go back to the function, okay, and we need to solve for x in terms, in terms of y. So x is going to be equal to, okay, plus or minus the square root of y over 2. However, remember, we're only dealing with the positive part of this parabola, okay? So this is the positive part. So the positive square root of y over 2. Okay, so we don't, okay, so we just need the positive part. Okay, so that means for our represent, for our represented piece, okay, it's going to be 2 minus x. x in terms of y is square root of y over 2, okay? Okay, so that is, okay, so this length, okay, so our radius in terms of y is this, okay, 2 minus the square root of y over 2. Okay, so we have everything now to set up our integral. So we're going to have pi times the integral, okay, so our bounds are going to go from 0 to 8, okay. So we have 2 minus square root of y over 2 squared dy. Okay. So we're going to have pi times the integral from 0 to 8. Okay, so we need to multiply all this out. So that's 2 minus the square root of y over 2 times 2 minus the square root of y over 2. Okay, so that's going to give us 4 minus 4 times 
the square root of y over 2, okay, plus y over 2. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take the integral of this. Okay, so the integral of 4, that's just going to give us 4y. Okay. Uh, the middle part, okay, so this part right here, that's a little tricky. Okay, so let's, I know there's going to be, there's usually some questions on that for my students. So I'm going to do that over here separately. So this is going to be, so we take the integral of that part of just 4 over root 2 times square root of y, which is just y to the 1 half. So I'm going to do that part separately over here and then plug it back into here. Okay. Okay, so this is going to give us, okay, so 4 over root 2 is just a constant. And then applying the power rule, we get y to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves. Okay, so we have 4 divided by 3 halves. That's going to give us 8 thirds. So this is going to be 8 over 3 square root 2 times y to the 3 halves. Okay. All right. So going back up here, okay, we get minus okay, eight over three square root two times y to the three house power. Okay. And then the integral of y over two, which is just the integral of one half y, okay, it's going to be one fourth y squared. And we're going to evaluate this from 0 to 8. Okay. okay, so we're going to have 4. So I'm going to multiply it out. It's 4 times 8. That's going to give us 32. Okay. And then, okay, we have 8 over 3 square root 2 times 8 to the 3 halves. And then plus we get 64 okay over 4 here okay all right so all right so that's yeah so it's going to give us 16 here okay and then for zero okay that's since we have a y in each term we're just going to get zero for that okay all right so now um Let's simplify this. Okay, so this is um, okay. Let's again look at this part in detail because we need to get we need to simplify this. Okay, so going back over here. Okay, in fact, let me do this in a different color here. Okay, so this is uh, we have. So this is just going to be 8 over 3 times square root 2, and then we have 8 to the 3 halves. 8 to the 3 halves, that's the same as square root 8 to the third power, okay? All right, so from here, we can rewrite this as 8 over... Three root two, okay. Square root eight. That's the same as, uh, so square root eight is the same as two times the square root two. So this is going to be two times the square root two raised to the power three. Okay. So we're going to get from here. We have eight over three square root two. Uh, we get two cubed, which is going to be eight times root two to the power three. Okay. So that's going to give us 64 over 3, okay, and then we have square root 2 cubed over square root 2. So that's going to leave us with square root 2 squared, okay. And then so square root 2 squared is going to give us 2, so 2 times 64 is 128. 
So we end up getting 128 over 3. Okay. So then from here we have 32 minus 128 over 3 plus 16. And so that's going to give us 16 pi over 3. Okay, and so that's the volume, right? So that's the volume of this region here. Okay, again, okay, this region that's bounded by these by this function and this uh, and x equals to two and the x-axis. Okay, so that's so we take that region and revolve around x equals to two. Okay, and that is the volume that we get here. So if this was an application problem, again, this would be units cubed. Okay. Right. So, okay, so that would look like, so if we're taking that region or revolving around x equal 2, it would look something like this. Okay, so. It's not too good here. Okay, let me try again. Okay. So, kind of like an uh, I don't know, like a, like an upside down like horn. Okay. All right. So that is the volume that we get here, and the volume of that again is it works out to be sixteen pi over three. Okay. 